Navigating the deep fake dilemma, a cybersecurity nightmare. That was your boss who just messaged you. And to send over your cell number, click that link, buy four gift cards for clients, right? Well, I might have some bad news for you. Hey everyone, Stan here from Stan's Garage, the channel that brings you everything you need to know for successful business IT management, along with some tech news. So today we're talking about an emerging cybersecurity nightmare that cannot be ignored, deep fakes. Now join us as we're gonna deep dive into what a deep fake is and help you safeguard your business from falling for this particular scheme. Deep fakes are AI generated replicas of a person's likeness have the potential to wreak havoc on various aspects of our lives, particularly in the realm of identity theft and misinformation. According to recent predictions from Gartner analysts, deepfakes could undermine confidence in face biometric authentication solutions for approximately 30% of organizations by 2026. I know that's a mouthful, but basically, hear me out. There's a growing concern surrounding the ability of current authentication systems to differentiate between genuine and fake identities. What does that mean, right? Many existing solutions rely on presentation attack detection or PAD to verify the liveliness of a user. But attackers are ramping up on sophisticated digital injection attacks with deep fakes, posing a formidable challenge to traditional security measures. Basically, they can make a face look like a face that fools the technology that's supposed to protect you. The implications of deep fake technologies extend beyond the corporate setting. Individuals are also at risk of falling victim to these malicious actors. These actors are using deep fakes to steal personal identities to perpetrate fraud, even for those who do not actively engage with AI platforms. Imagine someone being able to access your bank information because they copied your face. Social media platforms are a breeding ground for deep fake creators to source data like photos and videos which can be manipulated to create convincing yet false narratives. How can individuals and businesses protect themselves against the threat of deep fakes? Bear with me, I'll tell you. And how can you prevent deep fakes of yourself? Now, one key strategy I try to tell everyone is to exercise caution when sharing personal information online. Yeah, I mean, obviously you're not gonna throw your social security number or driver's license and stuff out there or your birthday. Oh, well, your birthday might be out there. But limit the amount of data you make available about yourself, particularly those high quality photos and videos. Sorry, Instagram. But doing so reduces the risk of becoming the target of some deep fake attacks. It is time to start leveraging those strong privacy settings on social media platforms and websites. They can help you control those access to personal information, thereby minimizing the resources available to potential deepfake creators. Now, staying informed about the latest AI developments and deepfake technologies is particularly important for recognizing potential red flags when encountering suspicious content. Implementing multi-factor authentication for all accounts adds an extra layer of security. While keeping devices and software up to date with the latest security patches mitigates vulnerabilities that hackers might exploit. Vigilance is the key when it comes to digital communications, right? Phishing scams often serve as an entry point for deepfake attacks. You should be cautious when receiving emails, direct messages, texts, etc., or other digital communications from unknown sources. And avoid clicking on suspicious links and verifying the identity of the sender whenever possible. So what should you do if you see a deep fake of yourself online? If you do encounter a deep fake content involving yourself or others, you're gonna have to act fast. You know, you're gonna report the content to the platform hosting it and federal law enforcement. You know, they can help in the removal or investigation, hopefully limiting the potential reach and impact. Besides that, I would have secret passphrases and code words with your loved ones and business associates. Something that even a deep fake won't be able to guess. Then, you know, seek legal advice from cybersecurity and data privacy experts. If you're a victim of deepfake attacks, the law is going to be consistently evolving on this one. It's also new, but you know, you're going to be ready. Deepfakes represent quite the challenge in the world of cybersecurity. Adopt those proactive measures. Share with care, strong privacy, staying vigilant against phishing, get those code words in place, and it'll help you mitigate the risks of deepfakes a little bit more. Together, we're gonna be able to navigate this digital landscape safely and securely, safeguarding our identities and preserving trust in our online interactions. But 
Don't let these technology threats hold your business back. If you've got a Los Angeles based business or you just want some help, reach out to us at stginfotech.com. Schedule a link, uh, a call with the link, Calendly link below, and happy to talk to you about how you can protect yourself against deep fakes. Thanks for tuning into the channel. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.